hello all welcome back to another video on python coding and once again we are back with another library and this time we will see how we can share the files on our machine using the python and uh, what it will do is it will create a link and it will upload it to a cloud sharing file sharing platform and then we'll get the link okay so here is uh, so here I have given the heading file storage okay so the library that we will be using today is go file so go file is a python library which uh, helps us to upload the files on our machine to a cloud based server and it also provides us the link for the files that we are uploading so that we can share our files with uh, anyone you want okay so here is my code and uh, once uh, i will give you a small introduction about the go file okay so uh, go file if you have not installed the library go file what you want to do is you have to write pip install go file and if i go here and if i search google go file and then we'll get an idea so it is free file sharing and storage platform okay so you can share the file for free here you can see here is the option to upload the files but uh, once you have some big files and you want to upload them in a row and you want to get the links for all the files so it is very hard for us to manually upload so many files so i have made this code so that it can also upload the n number of files at once and uh, yeah and using python you can also upload 50 files as at once and you can get the code okay so here is this uh, library called go file and i have already installed this library uh, here you can see pip install go file again if i run this so it will show me requirement already satisfied as it shows for the library which are already existing so you, here you can see requirement already satisfied and here my library is stored okay so i will just clear this output and then i have this image on my computer this is new.jpg so this is the image from my last project that is face mask detection and what i will be doing is i will be just uploading the single image on the go file server okay so let's see how to do that so i have defined a function called store files and i have passed the argument file okay so now using this go file method we can use the function called go dot get server what it will do is it will get a server for our file okay and it will also print the server okay so it will print the server and uh, once we got the server then we have to upload the file so there are many servers in this go file and our file will be uploaded to any one of the servers and we can also print that particular server where our file is uploaded okay and then here for getting the download link okay so in this line i am using go dot upload file and here i have passed the file okay then uh, what i will do is then under store under school files i will call this function okay at the end and here i have passed the method go dot upload file so upload file will simply upload my file and uh, yeah and then we just have to print the link using the function url and download page okay so url dot url of download page what it will give us it will give us the link where our file is stored okay from there we can also download our file okay so you can share this link to n number of people so can say so that they all can access the file as you as we do in the file sharing cloud file sharing okay so now it's the time to run this code and i have executed this code so see the server is printed so the server name is store 9 and here the download link is printed now if i click click on this download li link so here you will see my file is uh, uploaded successfully on go file okay and this is the image from my previous mask detection project and uh, yeah 
and so this is how you can upload the files so you can also upload the pdfs using the go file method okay so if you have any pdf on your computer you can also upload that and what is the, the and the advantage is that uh, you don't have to wait for like uh, uh, you don't have to wait for like getting the file into another computer or you don't have to wait for uploading it via the website so sometimes what happens is when you are going to website it fails or something happens but and also one advantage is that if you have n number of files like you have 50 files to upload so what i can do is i can simply call this function and i can simply upload the files or you can i can simply use a single loop and i can upload this file okay so these are such uh, some of the advantages that uh, you can use so so yeah here also i have this file called X, excel file so it is text test dot csv okay so it is a csv file and i will try uploading this okay so uh, it is say, saying me store 5 and uh, let us see if we get the link okay so so yeah sometime what happens if, if the file is big then it will take some time to upload now this file is of like 57 mb so that's why the kernel is taking so much time and yeah it is uploaded so it all depends on your upload and download speed what it is and here you can see my file is uploaded test.csv okay now if i click on this here the download will be started okay so i will cancel this download and yeah here you can see my file is uploaded successfully okay so this is how you can upload n number of files also i have one more image called test.jpg okay so it is same like test.jpg okay so i am just showing you that you can upload n number of files here and for every file you will get a different link okay so uh, yeah so this is the image okay so this is how you can upload the files on the go file and server and you will get the link for a particular file okay so this was it for today guys and i think you should also use this amazing library called go file and uh, uh, thank you for watching this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like comment and share to my channel as i will be uploading more videos related to such amazing libraries so thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.